Hey everyone, welcome back to Maker's Playground HQ. I am Izzy, and today we're going to start working on a log hauling device so you can move big logs like that one sitting behind me all by your little only self. So back in the old days, they used to be able to lift heavy things and move them around without any mechanical engines or motors, or they just use manual devices. And today we're going to start experimenting with a couple of devices called a windlass. So what I want to be able to do is be able to lift heavy logs, move them around with one person, you know, uh, to set them on my sawmill. A couple of years ago I did a sawmill, it was wildly successful, I mean thousands of people have built it, which is incredible. But now we need some way to move those bigger logs onto that sawmill manually without having to have a tractor or big heavy equipment. So we're starting down an epic road of discovery, starting with testing some devices that you can make yourself to lift really heavy stuff. Right now we're starting that. So first we all have to, we have to build like a big testing device, like six feet tall, eight feet tall, um, something we can put these windlasses on. And then we need to come up with some, you know, like a crash test dummy to use to test it with. Are you talking to me? No. Oh, okay. Yes, talking to you. Oh. Okay, right, so what I'm thinking is we're gonna do, just do like, a, we're gonna take two two by fours and laminate them together on mm -hmm. two sides, like this. And then we're gonna make like a little brace. So we have like a, one on the bottom, angle brackets coming up here. One on the bottom, angle brackets coming up here. So if you're looking at it from the side, it's just a T, mm -hmm. like so, with angle brackets to kind of hold everything nice and secure. Probably like halfway up, not not low, so about yeah. four foot. And then we need to do a cross section across here to kind of hold these things from racking this way. So like maybe we'll square. put maybe we'll put a, a a third leg out like that, another brace right there, and then just tie them together with a couple pieces of two by four to keep them rigid. And then we'll put the windlasses up here, mm -hmm. crash test dummy here, <laughs> and that's that. So that's what we need to do. And rather than going through and like explaining that because it's such a simple build, let's do like a quick montage. Okay. Montage. Yeah. I get up.
Nice. Okay, now that we have our testing mix, you see the notch up up there? Pay no attention to the notch. Two of those are two by eights, two of those are studs. Nothing I can do, two by four by eights. Nothing I can do about that. So now Brad's over setting up the CNC. We need to cut out some pieces for the windlass to actually sit in. Need to make a big crank handle, and then we need to make a shaft for our windlass. That coming up next. Cue the music. Dip, 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 dip. Ready to test the first windlass. This is just your regular water well windlass. But for that, we need a crash test dummy. And Brad's bringing our crash test dummy right now. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. Right, so we've got this log. It's, I don't know, what is it? It's just about four feet long and 20 inches in diameter. Um, and it's been sitting for about a year and a half. Now that being said, it's waterlogged because we've had a lot of rain here lately. Um, so we're gonna try this. Now this is just a typical windlass setup, just like you would see on a water well where you would throw you know, five gallons of water down or five gallon pail down and then you'd winch it up. And this gives you a lot of mechanical advantage. You have this very narrow shaft that goes across with a crank that's quite a bit bigger. So you have all that me mechanical advantage to lift it up. Now Brad's gonna make an attempt right now to go ahead and lift this log, which I'm guessing is in, what do you think? 400 pounds, 450 pounds? Somewhere in that range. So we're gonna try and lift this up right now. Let me back up so you can see. If, if it's, all right, it's in the air. Is that easy or hard? It's not easy. If I was standing on the ground, I wouldn't be able to do it. Gotcha, so we lift that up. Let's pull that out of the way. And you know, this is, there's no way Brad could lift this thing by yourself, right, off the ground. So this is actually pretty cool. Now, there's a Chinese variation of this that I think is way better than the block and tackle because with a block and tackle, you need a whole bunch of block and tackles to get this type of mechanical advantage. Now, the Chinese variation um, is really simple and it gives you the same advantage. Like, I don't know, I, I haven't done the math, but I'm guess, I'd be saying somewhere near like 10 of them. So very gently let it back down. Watch yourself there, don't, don't let go. <laughs> that would be bad. 
All right, so we're gonna stop. We're gonna rig up for the Chinese version or the um, the Chinese uh, windlass is what it's called. And I will show you how that works. And it's pretty amazing how much more mechanical advantage you get out of just one simple change to this whole setup right here. So this is the basic principle of a Chinese windlass. You have one rope going up one direction and the other one coming the other direction. So as you're turning this, one side is letting rope out and the other side is taking rope up. So if you're turning it in the direction that this side is taking rope up, it's taking more rope up than this side is letting out right here. And this pulley down here will either go up in small increments or down in small increments depending on which direction you're pulling. This gives you a huge amount of mechanical advantage as Brad's about to demonstrate for us. There's, there's not a lot of rope on this side, Brad. If it drops, just get out of the way. You're going the wrong direction. No, you're right. Here we go. Here we go. Is it any easier to lift than the last time? What? What happened? It slipped off. Oh. All right. Let it out. Let out the tension. Let the tension off. We need to put like a divider in there so it can't skip like that. Probably move that over there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the Chinese windlass. Let's see what happens. Hopefully the rope doesn't slip off that one side, but. Yeah, let me come over and hold it. All right, go ahead. So that one's rolling up slightly faster than that one is unrolling. And that is putting lift pressure on the log. Or at least that's what we feel, think feet is supposed to be doing. All right, let's see. Brad, is it harder or easier? Easier. All right. You're still working for it, aren't you? A little and, bit. And look at there, don't go too much further because that rope's going to come off. We should have started with a 100 feet of rope instead of 50. But that is the basic premise of it. Is it so is it super difficult to hold it? What happens if you let, uh, uh, is it, yeah, a little bit. So, so that's about, so we're, we're saying that's gonna, we're, we're to say that's about 400 pounds. I'll actually get a scale out later and weigh it. So with the variations of the different size rods and if we make the, the center rod out of steel, make it a lot smaller and then make only the step up like half inch instead of right now it's, it's an inch and a half because we have three quarter inch on both sides. So if we made it, let's say, uh, three quarter of an inch step up and just put extra rope on there um, you should be able to lift maybe a ton without too much trouble at all I think we need to do some more experimenting so let us know in the comments section what you guys think of the system now imagine it much more compact made out of metal and you know I'd be willing to bet there'd be a drill involved here somewhere in the near future but this is kind of like the mechanism I'm thinking we're going to use for lifting the logs into the log hauling device. I'd love to hear your feedback. <laughs> this was a really fun project. So by changing some of the parameters of the Chinese windlass, we'll be able to lift some super heavy weights manually just by hand or obviously with a drill because, you know, that's way more fun than doing it by hand. Hey everybody, thanks again for watching. So we're building a log hauling cart in the next few videos. It's gonna match up to the sawmill that I built a year and a half ago and you're not going to want to miss this log hauling cart. There is nothing like it out there. I'm pretty proud of this design, and I can't wait to show you guys this thing in action. In the meantime, we're going to run some more tests with our Chinese windlass and come up with a much better ratio for lifting lots of heavy logs. We'll see you in the next video.